There's a lot of debate right now if Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD is worth the 60 bucks, if Nintendo goofed with the price point. But one thing you can't argue about is that the eShop sales are coming in fire. They have delivered another insane sale this weekend, and there are so many great games. Like, I'm talking cream of the crop for Nintendo Switch on huge lowest price ever sales right now on the eShop, and we gotta talk all about them. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Smash that like button if you like when Nintendo does the right thing and makes the games cheap. And let me know in the comments down below what you want to pick up out of this fantastic sale. We got to kick it off right away with Among Us for 350. That game has seen a 30% discount, the lowest price it's ever been. The top seller in the eShop and Nintendo says, hey, we're going to take it lower. 228 is when this sale wraps February 28th, so you got some time, and it is a multiplayer game for the masses. If you have been holding off on Among Us, I know it was only five bucks, but hey, now is the best time to pick this one up if you wanna put it on your portable and TV Nintendo Switch system. Grindstone is down $15.99, that's 20% off till March 1st. I love this game. Yes, it's from Apple Arcade, but it is the rare mobile game that I think works better on Nintendo Switch. It just fills up the screen with those gorgeous visuals so nicely. This game has infinite charm. It just oozes fun and feistiness. The levels are really good. They build upon each other. I like the ways that you upgrade and progress through the game. And even though it has match three at its core, it builds upon that in ways that I really enjoy. I'm not gonna go sit there and play a boring mobile game. Grindstone is far from boring. And there's over 200 levels and daily challenges. Cappy Games, ugh, phenomenal developer. Fantastic implementation on Nintendo Switch. Burnout Paradise Remastered, the lowest price it's ever been, $14.99. That's 50% off till February 28th. And this is one of the best racing games of the last pff, couple decades. I don't know, maybe ever. The way that they integrated the open world in conjunction with the Burnout gameplay was beautiful, and the Switch port is really darn nice. Now, it originally started a lot more expensive, but 15 bucks feels like a phenomenal value. Get in right now until February 28th. I don't think you'll be disappointed, as long as you enjoy fast cars, crashes, and a lot of really good music. Now, Crisis Remastered has also seen a super sale, the lowest price ever, down to $17.99, 40% off till March the 8th. If you want to get in on some Crisis Nano Shoot action on your Nintendo Switch, this is a fantastic price point. Now, I personally am a much bigger fan of Crisis 2, but this is where it all began. And it's Crytek doing what they do with big, much more open world here in the first Crisis. And the remaster looks pretty darn nice. It's just awesome to see all of these franchises, all of these genres on Nintendo Switch, and I like these games, these remasters, a lot better when they're sub $20. Am I right? Like, should they all be sub $20 always? I think so. That's not the case, but they really should be, because I dropped 15 bucks on a game that I used to love that now is dolled up with better graphics, but when they're 30, 40, 60, it's a little bit harder to swallow. And that's why people are concerned about Skyward Sword. But we'll have to wait to see what content they add. I'm still optimistic. Now, Borderlands Legendary Collection and the whole 2K ensemble is on sale for $24.99. 50% off till March 1st, the lowest price it's ever been for a bunch of Borderlands action. That's B1, B2, and Borderlands the pre-sequel. It's going to give you hundreds of hours of gameplay. Local two-player co-op, four-player online co-op. These are fantastic versions of the game. And at 25 bucks, like, that's a really good price point. These all started at 50, these collections, when they did XCOM and Bioshock, but I love them that much more when it's literally half the value. And there's a ton of games on the eShop, so if you don't like what you see from me, these are my picks, the ones that I think are the best games, but browse the eShop. There's right now hundreds of games on sale, and these are just my top 35. So you know I got to include Bioshock the Collection. It's like today's sale was made just for me. 25 bucks bringing you Bio 1, 2, and Infinite. Where's Bio 4? Probably won't be on Switch, but I cannot wait to see when that game is eventually revealed in the coming years. Right now, though, live the glory of Andrew Ryan, Zachary Comstock, and a very underrated Bioshock 2. Amazing games, first-person shooters that I think redefine single-player gameplay and narrative in the era when they release, and they play great on Switch, look great on Switch. Might want to use a Pro Controller, though. We've also got Ghost Runner, which is one of my favorite indie games of 2020. There's a demo, but it's also $20.99, 30% off, Till February 28th, the lowest price it has ever been. Oh, quick note, the 2K stuff, that's till March 1st, and golf and wrestling, those are on sale as well. This game came out at the tail end of 2020, and it's impressive they got it on Switch. It is a slice and dice, fast pace, one hit and you're gone. But you gotta jump, you gotta move, you gotta dash, you gotta slash, 
and you got to do what you can to survive and eliminate all opposition. Phenomenal title, super fun. Some may say it's too fast paced for the tiny switch screen, but I'm just glad they were able to get it here. And if you play it on TV, that might be the best bet. Now, golf story. This ain't no Mario Golf, but it might be a good prep course. Get some training out on the tee boxes at 749, 50% off till February 28th. It's the lowest price it's been, and while we wait for Sports Story, the follow-up to this game that incorporates a bunch of sports, man, Sidebar Games title is fantastic. It's RPG Golf, and there's less flair and flash than there's going to be in Mario Golf Super Rush this summer, but if you want to get into golf and you like kind of the RPG sports hybrid, fantastic game. You can't go wrong. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, one of my personal favorite third-party releases on Nintendo Switch. It's like Mario Kart minus Mario, but with a lot more single-player content and difficulty. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is $20, that's 50% off, till March the 1st, and I love this game. They added a bunch of free DLC, online multiplayer, boss battles. I'd like to see Mario Kart 9 actually borrow some elements from Crash and incorporate them into Nintendo's Racer. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is also 50% off, down to 30 bucks till March 1st. It's not the lowest price it's ever been, but it is close. And they just announced that Diablo 2 is coming to Switch in its remastered form later this year. I love that Blizzard is supporting the system. We got Overwatch, we got Diablo, and 3 Eternal is a fantastic implementation. The port is wonderful on Switch, and it's a lot of fun to play by yourself uh, or with friends. It does include online play, up to four players. It's just a really good game, one that you can get in, get a lot of good, fun hack and slash action, collect all your loot, and then pop out. I just think it runs and plays really good on the system. They even did a dedicated Nintendo Switch dock and console for this. So I'm glad that we're able to get this franchise on the system and that we're getting Diablo 2 Remastered, which will be a nice third-party pickup on Switch. Should hit day and date. I'm excited for that one. Activision ain't done though. Spyro Reignited Trilogy is $19.99. That's 50% off till March 1st, combining a bunch of Spyro goodness. I like these games less than Crash. I think they hold up uh, a little less well, but especially for younger audiences and just those of you who have nostalgia for the Purple Dragon, three big games on Nintendo Switch, a lot of content, over 100 levels, uh, and you can't beat that 50% price. That is the lowest Spyro has been on the Switch. Now, L.A. Noire, personal favorite. The game that jump-started my Ghost Robo channel. It's 25 bucks, 50% off till March the 1st. It's a Rockstar game. Everybody kind of keeps their fingers crossed that we'll get an older GTA, but it doesn't seem like it's happening anytime soon. So enjoy Cole, Phelps, Michael's brother. No, there's no relation. But anyhow, it is a great 1940s detective thriller through Los Angeles with great crime scene gameplay where you have to try to investigate and find out the cause and effect of these many mysteries and many murders. Then you get to interview with their awesome face tech. It's just a great game. I recommend it. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition. That's including the Aftermath expansion, all the DLC, $35.99. That's 40% off till March 2nd, the lowest price it's ever been. You can pick up the base game for $15. That one's always on sale. But it's nice to see the complete package, including that story expansion, be down to its lowest price yet. Paradise Killer is a game I hear tons about, and I might have to pick it up because now it's $13.99. 30% off till February 25th, the lowest it's been. It's a detective game, it's a visual novel, it's Phoenix Wright, it's everything. Well, maybe not everything, but it has received a lot of wonderful remarks. It's got a lot of great cult following, uh, and people just really love this game if you give it a chance. It's gonna take your time. It's, you know, more of a slower paced adventure as you try to navigate the world and understand what's going on, uncover the mysteries, read thread the dialogue, and explore these zany characters. A lot of color in this one, a very interesting world, mature rating, and I might have to pick it up this time. Jackbox Party Pack 6 includes Trivia Murder Party 2, so I have to recommend it. I don't necessarily like the other games as much. I'm more of an OG fan uh, of the uh, the Jackbox series. You know, give me games like Drawful, Quiplash, things of that sort. Um, but I do like uh, Push the Button. It's kind of like Among Us, actually, which is very interesting. Trivia Murder Party is fantastic, and Role Models is a good one as well. So this game is 1949, 35% off till February 28th, the lowest it's been. Those are my top, top picks, but the fun doesn't stop there. Ori in the Blind Forest Definitive Edition is down to $13.99. That puts it at 30% off until March 28th, which is the lowest price it has been. It's just so great to see that we are getting uh, games of this sort in the system. Microsoft was just showing so much love to the Switch. What a great, great era. Seems like that era might be over, but I'm glad we got Ori and its big brother, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This one is on sale for its lowest price ever, 15% off, but it's still down to $25.49 till February 28th. 
great, great new game. Uh, you know, it ran very poorly when it first came out, but I'm glad to see that they were able to make it work on Nintendo Switch. It's quite impressive. This is a very nice port for a very beautiful game and one that will definitely tap into your emotions. So bring the tissues and uh, also get your platforming skills ready. It's no Celeste, but it's up there. Super hot, $14.99. 40% off till February 28th, the lowest price it's been. A great game where as you move, they move. Like as you move through the world, the enemies move. Otherwise, they just stand still. So if you want to just have peace and quiet, you don't have to go anywhere. But a fantastic game as you work to kill these uh, wireframes with glass bodies. They shatter quite simply, but you're going to be slashing and shooting your way through a phenomenal experience. Like this game is so good. Love it. It's on Switch. And yeah, the reviews are glowing and deservedly so. This is an absolute 9 out of 10. It's a must play in my opinion. 14 bucks, 15 bucks, great price. I love these games so much, I rarely talk about them, but it's time we give SteamWorld some fair dues. A lot of you got a Switch recently, maybe for Christmas, maybe for AC. Maybe you're grabbing one for the upcoming lineup, but SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh down 50% off to $12.49 is a must buy. It's on sale till February 28th, and this is card battling combined with RPG, combined with just phenomenal art, and I think the best game that SteamWorld has ever made. It's weird because it's not their typical genre, but they did such wonders with this one. And the cards, like, your decks are constantly upgrading, they're adding new mechanics, it's a great RPG. Uh, there's always new stuff to buy and new characters to slot in and out from your party. Oh, it's just, I can't say enough good things. I played this game when I was sick in the bathtub, and it really got me through a really crappy week. SteamWorld Dig 2, though, deserves shine as well, $7.99. That's the lowest price it's ever been, 60% off till March the 1st. This is more typical uh, SteamWorld, what we'd expect from them, where you're digging down, grabbing gems, coming up, upgrading your character, fighting bosses, completing platforming challenges, and otherwise enjoying an insanely amazing game. One of the best from the first year of Nintendo Switch. I love it a lot. If you haven't played it, oh my gosh, you have a whole franchise to explore. Lonely Mountains Downhill. A simple game, but a great biking sim. 1339, ride your way down these hills and try to get the best time. A lot of different mountains, a lot of high scores and leaderboards to beat, and it is down to 1339, 33% off till February the 28th. We've also got Metro Last Light Redux, 10 bucks down from 25. That puts it at 60% off the lowest price it's ever been till March the 1st. This is the second Metro game. The third one uh, is much more open world. The second moved it there. Metro 2033 is also on sale. The Redux for that is also 10 bucks, lowest price, 60% March 1st. I prefer the second game. The first one is much more on rails and feels um, a little more like B-tiered, whereas Last Light, I think they were getting more, um, better probably dollars. You know, after the success of 2033, they got more budget, they built up the team, and then it all culminates with the third game um, that some people have hopes for on Switch. I'm not sure. It is a pretty, pretty game, so maybe one day. But both these adventures include the DLC and are worth your time. Torchlight 3 is down to 20 bucks, 50% off till February 28th. This is, you know, Diablo, but sillier. Diablo, but more colorful. But Diablo, and almost just as good. Well, I don't know about Torchlight 3. Some people don't like Torchlight 3. Maybe they prefer Torchlight 2. This is a panic button port, phenomenally implemented, $11.99. I might recommend this one instead. It's older, it's less on sale, 40% off, but that should tell you something. Fantastic game, a very big game. Um, there are some special flourishes for Nintendo Switch, and it's just got great action RPG gameplay, ignore, well, don't ignore, but like the colors, don't let them make you think that this is like a kidified version. It's a very serious action RPG. And there's four player online co-op, uh, which is quite nice. We've got Hobbit Definitive Edition, 11.99, uh, similar, great port, fantastic game, probably an underrated game, um, made by the Torchlight developers and ported again by Panic Button. They did beautiful work on this one. It is down to 11.99, 40% off till February 28th. The world is changing as you go. It actually has like a Bowser's Fury element to it with like platforms rising, lowering, the entire world shifting uh, as you play through this adventure. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. And I think it's a great get at just over $10. Fury is a boss rush game for $6.99. That's the lowest price it's ever been. 65% off till February 28th. You like boss rush? You like fast action? You like difficult combat? Get in on it. All right, we've also got, whoops, Lost Phone Stories on a Nintendo Switch. Why is it not showing me this game? Lost Phone? Where are you at? Oh, maybe they lost their phone. It's actually kind of an, an invasive game. It feels a little weird. Like someone lost their phone. I, I love that they don't want to show it to us. Lost Phone Stories though is like literally someone loses their phone and I mean, they, Nintendo lost the page for the game. It's absolutely absurd. All right, let's actually just do a Google search for this. Lost Phone Stories. Okay, this game is on sale for $3.99, 60% off. The lowest price it's been. You find a lost phone and like you have to uncover who it is. You're talking to someone you don't know and it's got Vertical play on Switch, baby. How many games can you say do this? Vertical play. 
All right, so really, really appreciate that they do go vertical with this adventure. Um, it's quite interesting, and you can also just play it normally if you want, I believe. I don't think you have to flip your Switch end over end, but it's just a really interesting idea, a really interesting game, and I respect things that, that really try to mix it up and do something like totally chaotic and totally different. Back on track though, we've got Flipping Death down to $3.99. That's 80% off till February 28th, the lowest price it's been. Solve problems for those who died, unfortunately. Great art, cool gameplay, quirky characters. They remind me of a Tim Schafer joint, but it's not Tim Schafer. Great reviews. Uh, it's Zoink Games actually doing good work, and it's a fun time, especially for four bucks. We've got Going Under. I gotta pick this one up during this sale. It's a roguelite about being an intern. Weird concept, pretty cool execution. Got lots of good remarks from this one. Uh, it is down to 33% off till March 10th. That's the lowest price it's ever been. And it's just got really interesting gameplay. I think the graphical style is really awesome and really appreciated. Um, it is, uh, you know, another roguelite, so maybe you have too many of those, but I just really like what it's doing, and I think it's got just a very unique main character who's trying her best to work her way up through a sucky internship, and that's why she's fighting her way through this company. I mean, amazing, amazing premise for a roguelite. Blasphemous is down to $12.49. That's the lowest price it's ever been. 50% off till March the 10th. There is a demo. The game is pretty intense. There's a lot of religious themes, so that's not your thing. You might want to skip out on it, but they just released uh, some DLC, and the game itself is just really good. It's like Dark Souls, but 2D. Really interesting, really violent, really gory, but as long as that's your cup of tea, it's actually a really amazing game. Mark of the Ninja Remastered, always a classic. This is Clay doing awesome work. Five bucks, 75% off till March or February 28th, the lowest it's been. It is stealth gameplay perfected. 2D, but gorgeous, and just so many great moments, so many incredible levels. Laser beams, grenades, smoke bombs, and stealth strikes. I love this one. I also really like Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. And as we wait for a new Donkey Kong game, this is the closest you are gonna get. $7.49, it is 75% off till March the 10th, and that's the lowest price it's been. You know, this game originally started at $30, which I feel might be a lot. I mean, it's a big game, there's a demo you can play, uh, you know, give it a test, but I love it at $7.49, like it's a must pick up at that price point. There's an overworld that's changing, there's levels that change as you flood them and fill them with snow. It's a really cool concept, and whenever you're ready, you can go take on the Impossible Layer, but make sure you've saved up enough lives. Iconoclast is down to $6.79, the lowest price it's ever been, 66% off for this gorgeous Metroidvania with puzzles and big boss battles. Uh, it is on sale till March the 1st. I have this one on my Switch. I've never played it. I really probably should, and maybe now is a good time. These sales remind me of things in my backlog, which is, you know, both a blessing and kind of a curse because the games don't stop coming. The last game of the day though, they will stop coming, is Red Faction Gorilla Remastered. Weirdest name on the eShop, but it's 10.49 and 65% off makes this one recommendable. Till March 1st, it was the original game about destruction. The buildings would collapse as you smashed them with your freaking gravity hammer. It's a really interesting game. Probably doesn't hold up as well as it did back in its initial release, but I love that THQ Nordic did put it on the platform and at 10 bucks, it's really hard to complain. So a lot of phenomenal titles starting with the absolute juggernaut that is among us seeing a sale for the first time. Grindstone is a great mobile port, but hey, it's much more than a mobile game. Burnout Paradise, feeling fantastic with all that open world racing. You know I like Crisis Remastered, although it's not as good as Crisis 2, so I'd probably say spend your money on the Borderlands collection or the Bioshock collection, given that those are 50% off. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to pick up. A lot of great titles here. I gave you my top 35. There are hundreds on the eShop. Make sure to explore them. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you had fun with me today. Let me know in the comments what you're going to grab. Stay tuned for more Switch sales. I'll bring them your way probably once a week or so. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept abreast of all Nintendo's doing on the eShop. They might be causing controversy with their Wii U ports, but they're definitely doing us right with their sales. It's more regular than it's ever been for Nintendo, and I love it. I love you guys too, so stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy out there. Have a fantastic weekend, and until next time, everybody, Switch Force out.